federal lawsuit filed today by the group Project Advancement. They say they filed it on behalf of several minority groups in the area. Now, their claim tonight is very simple. They say the new law is unfair to both blacks and minorities who need to get an ID to vote. Right to vote ought to be as natural as breathing. A process that's no longer the case, claims the group behind a federal lawsuit targeting the state's new voter ID law. Is a violation of federal law and must be overturned. The Advancement Project, a group based in the nation's capital, filed suit Thursday insisting it violates a federal law passed back in the 60s. The Voting Rights Act prohibits prerequisites, burdens, and barriers to voting that fall disproportionately on minority voters. The group claims that 55% of black men and 46% of Latinos don't have a state-issued driver's license, compared to just 16% of white males. But Republican Representative Jeff Stone, who co-authored the legislation, insists it has nothing to do with race. This legislation treats everyone the same. It requires a, a photo ID in order to obtain a ballot, and it's something that's been all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court in the past. Groups taking part in this suit say the law is a solution to voter fraud that never really existed. It is a way of discouraging good people from participating in what is a constitutional right. And I spoke with attorneys with that group today. They tell me that they hope to have this lawsuit fast track. They're hoping a federal judge will throw out that new law before the upcoming November elections. On your side, reporting live from the federal courthouse, Todd Hicks, today's TMJ4.